from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, I mentioned earlier we had a gorgeous sunset, but boy, I tell you, last night, right around sunset or so, we had prior that was not looking good, like a bowl on the ground. This ended up being a tornado, and uh, the National Weather Service has only confirmed one so far. Don sent these pictures in from around the prior area. The tornado was an EF0, snapped some trees, also wrecked some roofs of some homes, and caught some barns and messed with them as well. And the uh, track of the storm really started... Uh, around the Bixby area in terms of the thunderstorm, not the tornado. And then it went across the northwestern, extreme northwestern portion of Wagner County and southeastern portion of Rogers County. And then we thought it was a trying to tornado right just on the southwest side of Pryor. And then it definitely right in here, that little red dot, and then moving to the north, uh, that's where the tornado warning was as far as uh, on the ground, EF0. And so that's the latest report. We were expecting to get more reports later on from the National Weather Service the next 24 hours. Also, the uh, storm that went through Eufaula had a tornado warning associated with that. No reports out of the Eufaula area, and also another one that we thought probably was a tornado was one that was uh, just to the northwest of Stigler and then moved up across western portion of Kerr Reservoir and then just northwest of Salisaw. Had our guys on that, and uh, at any given time, they didn't really see it because it's nighttime, it's hard to see, uh, but it sure looked like it from radar. Tonight is all quiet, and it is nice. It was a good day. It was brief easy and kind of cold. The winds have died down to near zero, light and variable at three. 48 degrees right now. The dew point is at 28. Our temperatures are dropping. We're in the 40s now across the area. Not bad. Uh, we have a little bit of an overcast sky. That's what helped us with our gorgeous sunset earlier this evening. Uh, we're talking about much of the state in the 40s at this moment. Uh, we do expect as we go through tonight and tomorrow, not a lot of change because the storm system that's up to our north is drifting northward a little bit. So that's kind of keeping the cold air from really pushing south. Usually when we see this I'm gonna say oh it's gonna be so cold but not really this go around it's gonna be chilly but not really bitter cold so that's welcome news uh, the storm and the conflict zone so to speak between the warm humid air colder air has moved off to the east and the deep south and then we have snow still out west California getting nailed with rain and snow at higher elevations and we're just gonna to have to sit and enjoy it now Guyman right now uh, is uh, pretty cool but tomorrow morning it's gonna be downright cold at 18 the rest of us will be in the upper 20s to low 30s with mid 30s in the southeast part of our area in the afternoon. Kind of similar today, upper 40s to low 50s. The northwest wind, there'll be about 10, 20 miles per hour blowing across the area, but it's again, seasonal, but not that bad. Thursday, similar story, a little frosty in the morning and then lower to mid 50s in the afternoon. And then what happens here? Friday, temperatures move into the upper 50s and low 60s. That's great, but there is another cold front Friday night that'll move on through. And some of us still need rain, but the potential for the next seven days is pretty much all south and east, nothing going on around here. As we look at the last four months, uh, we had trouble. Uh, the observed rain was in the brown for September, October, then November and December, we started kind of getting a little bit, we didn't get caught up. We just started getting back to near normal and we're not looking at a whole lot of precipitation coming up. We have a few sprinkles, maybe Friday night, then a chance a few sprinkles or showers for Thursday and early Friday. Over the next four months though, we are looking for rainfall amounts that are normally pretty low for January and February. So we don't have rain now. It doesn't look all that great until we get to March and April. And then that's when the storms start to pick up and that's when things get a little bit better. In the meantime, you just have to enjoy kind of nice weather and above normal temperatures for this time of year. All right, tonight, 43, chilly, not bad, through uh, 9 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, it'll be a little frosty in a few areas, and then the winds start to pick up out of the west to northwest. And it'll be a chilly day, but again, I don't think this is too bad of a forecast. We've had a lot worse. We've had ice, we've had snow. Of course, we had tornadoes yesterday, but that's another story. Uh, but we're looking for any chances of rain to be pretty limited. Quite a bit of sun, except for maybe Friday. So again, kind of getting to calm down after kind of a wild start to 2023.